As parents, we can limit our children's screen time, but taking away or turning away from new technology just isn't always realistic. That's right. And here to talk about raising children in an over-tech society is children's author Melissa Williams. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Okay, we've got Google Glasses. We've got social robots. We have these things with watches that keep track of everything. Should we be concerned about how all of this technology is affecting our children? Well, you know, the funny thing about this, we've been preparing for this since the 60s. The way to toys were developed, that little bit of electronics then leading to this. I mean, just 20 years ago, the Palm Pilot came out in 1996 and see what has happened mm -hmm. since then. But the thing about it is for adults, our experiences have been shaped by this generational change of technology. It's been a part of our lives and it's been kind of exciting and we have to remember that kids are going through that same excitement mm -hmm. too but it has to do with we don't want it to control them and that's our job as adults to set the example in what dr. Gary small would call the digital life of the digital native mm -hmm. and these are the kids that are being born into a day never knowing life without the internet and technology let's talk about the difference of, of what a concern would be okay so you've got television you've got all, all the different types of, of iPads and things like that game voice what what is the difference between those are they all kind of created equally they are not created equal and we don't have enough scientific evidence when it comes to the interactive apps however the American Academy of Pediatrics will say that a child under two should not be watching any television even if it's educational because the type of television that has been promoted for that age group is very flashy just to keep their interest in something that's more real-time entertainment and realistic they would never pay attention to anyway so interactive apps that are educational I mean that's a, a better bang for your your brains buck but we have to make sure that these things are balanced out and we're not replacing real-time activities that create emotional regulation with all of this technology you know when you say real-time activities what are we talking about uh, going to a baseball game having participate yes. something that, that that's really hands-on and not electronic at all yes and, and even for these children children that are under age two because this is a very critical time in brain development and this is the big question that parents are having should I have any type of technology around my child well the interactive apps are actually made with these real-time pauses so that they can build that experience but stimuli in the life of a baby is crucial playing with a water bottle or building blocks is going to be way more beneficial than for sure be on TV that's for sure but also reading with your kids them sitting in your lap having that experience reading is the number one most important thing you can do with your children. I mean, it's even being recommended to physicians. And it's so simple. It's something that we can definitely yes. pull off. You have a big event coming up this weekend because we yes. have so many more questions to ask you, but they I can know. find out there. And I know, I'll be talking for a full hour at the <laughs> Early Childhood Development Conference at Kingdom Builders this Saturday. It's put on by the Harris County Department of Education. So come out to that. I think it's going to be very helpful for a lot of people. Melissa yes. Williams, great to see you as yes. always. Yes, thank you for having me. Children's author, and thanks for making a difference in their lives. Thank you, I appreciate it.